Hello friends, welcome to Power Plant Guru YouTube channel. Friends, in today's video, we will discuss and understand about the governing concept for steam turbine. And uh, it is applicable generally, generally for steam turbine compressors uh, and uh, many pumps as well. So it's a common fundamental thing which I am explaining. So be with me to understand this. So, uh, to understand governing, I have taken a very, very common example by which every one of us can relate and understand. So, uh, here is a bicycle which is uh, moving on a fixed speed for example. So, this is how we expect our machines in plant to operate in a fixed speed or a normal speed uh, whenever we don't want to change but what happen in plants uh, there are some loads which keeps on changing right so for example if we say uh, uh, let's say uh, for example if i say i am riding this bicycle and then there is a, another load of 20 kg add on on this bicycle so what will happen the speed the speed by which this bicycle is uh, moving or running will reduce naturally if you add some weight okay but what we want we want to run this bicycle on a fixed speed so what we will do we will add some more force more force some addition of force to maintain the speed so this is what happens let's say in your plant if you uh, you let us imagine a single uh, machine with a one plant example wherein there are a lot of motors pumps etc fans and all are, are there so uh, let's say you are mach uh, your machine is running on uh, 20 uh, megawatt and then there is a another motor started in plant maybe 0.5 uh, megawatt or 500 kilowatt so what will happen the load which is on the generator that load will increase and that load uh, i do not know whether you have a very clear understanding of what is load on a generator so i'll try to explain that as well so for example if your 5 megawatt increases or 5 kilowatt uh, 500 kilowatt increases then what will happen the restriction to which generator was facing uh, so that restriction will increase and that restriction will in uh, increasing that restriction will cause your turbine rpm to reduce which is this example i have given the restriction coming from generator will reduce your turbine rpm but what you want to do you want to maintain the frequency maintain the frequency which is 50 hertz for some uh, most of the areas maybe 60 hertz in europe or other areas so you want to maintain that frequency and then you have to increase the steam flow increase the steam flow in case of steam turbine or increase the fuel flow or uh, gas flow in case of gas turbine to maintain this speed again and similarly let's say uh, you are running a plant uh, a single machine combination at 25 megawatt and suddenly there is a 5 megawatt load cut minus 5 megawatt from that so what will happen at the moment when this load ca cuts then your machine will face some uh, release on your load or restriction which is coming from the uh, generator side and that will that will force your turbine rpm to increase but as we know turbine rpm uh, increase in turbine rpm is not uh, uh, envisaged and there are uh, uh, maybe overspeed trip etc other things may happen 
so what you have to do you have to reduce the uh, speed of turbine and that's what the governing will come into picture and all this you can just imagine with the example of this bicycle very simple example every can everybody can relate like you are running a cycle there is addition of weight then speed will definitely reduce and if you want to maintain that speed you have to increase the force to maintain the speed and similarly let's say there is reduction of weight then what will happen the your speed will increase and then you have to calculate that how much my speed has increased then you have to reduce that force to again maintain welcome friends to power plant guru youtube channel friends i am a mechanical engineer with around 20 years of experience in the field of power plant and i used to create small fundamental knowledge series videos for power plant engineers we also run doubt clearing sessions on weekends so if you want to reach us you can reach us through comment section and join our weekend classes let us continue to watch our today's video so there are different type of uh, governors available Uh, which are used in industry to control the speed so right now what we are seeing is a example of a mechanical governor and uh, what i would say this is a principle just to understand and it was used in a very old machine nowadays this is not in uh, application but you will find it in a uh, older machines so let us understand the principle behind it so uh, what you are seeing uh, is uh, these two fly balls right these fly balls uh, the circle ones are having a metallic balls weight so what is happening if there is a high rpm means speed increases speed increases then the centrifugal force increases centrifugal force increases and that in a uh, centrifugal force increases that it gives a high uh, 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 movement in this direction uh, both the direction and then what is happening it is against this spindle so it is moving and then movement of this is causing your uh, this sleeve to come down right as this sleeve come down there is a hinge here and if it is coming down then this lever gets up pulled up and this lever gets pulled up so if you see that this opening of this valve if this consider as a valve which is steam is coming from here so you can see if the lever is uh, pulling up then there is a restriction in that particular opening of valve so this is a lowest position and if it is in center if this is uh, plate is in center then that is a full opening and if that plate uh, is in like this this is a minimum opening so if you see accordingly once the speed gets up that means your when your turbine speed is getting high then you what you want to do you want to reduce the fuel which is the steam in this case then your steam flow is reducing or if your when your speed is getting down then is this lever is getting up and then valve opens so this is how it is co uh, covering or oh, sorry controlling the steam inlet to the turbine so this is very uh, basic physical uh, explanation where you can understand this type of mechanism uh, is principally followed however uh this is not uh, in common practice nowadays because um, only you cannot rely on mechanical components nowadays because new technologies are available finer controls are available and mechanical components always uh, have some wear and tear so gives a problem in regulating and fine tuning so this you may find in a older turbine but now not uh, nowadays but this will give you a very clear understanding how uh Uh, this is principally working right
this is basically a hydraulic uh, governor uh, inside of that is not visible but you know it is very simple that linear uh, kind of uh, program it is uh, seen it basically gets speed signal from turbine and then it converts that uh, into your uh, uh, pressure has to provided in that particular uh, to reduce increase or reduce uh, the speed and accordingly it gives a all supply hydraulic all supply to the actuators and then uh, it is used to increase or reduce the speed so we will understand this in detail in the next slide yeah. so now coming to your uh, i2p type of governors so for this uh, there is a speed measurement actually in the turbine speed measurement speed measurement is done basically uh, uh, it is kind of a teeth to shaft <laughs> not exactly shaft it is mounted one of uh, mounting uh, on the steam turbine shaft wherein uh, different uh, your cuts are there in that shaft and there is a probe here uh, looking at uh, this particular thing and whenever your uh, let's say it's passing by one gap like uh, here it is then there is a if this comes here there is and again this portion comes here by rotation so it is rotating, rotating in this way if we consider so it sees that where is the gap or not gap gap and uh, gap and uh, less gap and uh, touch so based on that differences of uh, uh, gaps it uh, detects a uh, uh, voltage signal and that voltage signal is taken as a count for your speed let's say uh, this uh, this probe sees a delta in voltage uh, 60 times 60 times per second or then it will calculate a speed of uh, uh, x value and let's say this machine rpm is increased now it is seeing 100 uh, times of delta v then it relates to some y speed so how it is coming like let i'll take a, just a, explain again so it is a probe and let's say my uh, this spindle is there now this is uh, some different gap so delta uh, voltage gap is different and when this uh, probe again rotates uh, if this uh, let's say this probe is like this and the now the shaft is like this so there is a different delta gap is different so there is a different uh, gap voltage so by that it understand how much uh, rotation it has seen so probe position is fixed but this this is rotating so uh, here if this tip is there then the delta uh, voltage gap will be different and if there is a no uh, gap, I mean shaft is cut here, so that is a different delta V. Uh, based on that, it calculates the speed. And this speed signal goes to your electronic governor. And your electronic governor sees that, okay, my rate set point, set point for speed is 3000 RPM. But the current speed is 2990 RPM. So what I have to do? I have to increase the speed plus the speed by 10 RPM. And this 10 RPM calculation is an electronic thing. But the actuator which is a hydraulic oil driven actuator. Maybe some of uh, actuator is like this. There are ports so this ultimately gives your steam input so how much this 10 rpm will be increased by what oil pressure 
so this device converts that 10 rpm is let's say 0 0.05 psi so that much uh, this i2p converter will decide that this much oil pressure is re uh, required to increase and then it gives this kind of command to increase that oil pressure and by that oil pressure this your spindle will move up and the flow to this turbine will increase so this is how uh, the ultimately calculation or the whole entire uh, thing is there and this is uh, i mean being done this is very uh, crude or we can say high level example now uh, this is the entire uh, thing which i want to explain to uh, make the entire thing in a detail but i think this video is getting more longer so we will cover this in the next video of the same topic so hope you have understood uh, the concept and you can ask uh, questions regarding uh, this particular diagram so that uh, when i am uh, creating the follow up video for this thing i can include those questions so thank you for watching uh, my videos if you like the content please subscribe to the channel thank you very much